Story time with Adam and Don. Hello everybody and thank you for joining us for another virtual story time here at the Canyon City Public Library. I'd like to start my story times off with a song, um, sung to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and it goes a little something like, welcome, welcome everyone, now you're here, let's have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so, then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone, now you're here, let's have some fun. Good job, guys. Hopefully everybody's still singing, enjoying themselves at home. I know a new school year is starting. Um, we're all adjusting to new and different ways of living. Hopefully everybody's been enjoying the school year so far. Um, let's get started with our first book. Hooray for books. Hooray for Books, Words and Pictures by Brian Wan. Uh-oh, who do we have here? Where is that book? It's my favorite book, Turtle said. He searched the entire house, but no book. Look at all the stuff. Where could it be, Turtle wondered. Ah, maybe I shared it with Zebra! I hope you liked it. I can't wait to read it again. Hooray for books! But Zebra did not have Turtle's book anymore. Why don't you read one of these, two of my favorites of mine? Zebra said. They are about unicorns. But Turtle said, I like my book. Maybe you shared it with... Ow! Let's go see. Turtle and Zebra cheered, hooray for books! But Al did not have Turtle's book anymore. It was a great book, but check out some of mine instead, Al said. This one is about eagles. But Turtle said, I like my book. Maybe you shared it with... Giraffe! Let's go check. Turtle and Zebra and Al cheered. Hooray for books! But Giraffe did not have Turtle's book anymore. I did enjoy it, said Giraffe. Now, how about these? I love this one about roller skating. But Turtle said, I like my book. Maybe you shared it with... Elephant. Let's go get it. They all cheered. Hooray for books! I, hope, I, I sure hope you find my favorite book, Turtle said. But Elephant did not have Turtle's book anymore. It was a very good story, Elephant said. Now I can share these with you. Here's one about juggling. But Turtle said, I like my book. Did you share it with... Lion? There it is! I see it. There's my favorite. Turtle reached for his very last book on the bottom of Lion's giant pile and yanked hard. Thank you, Lion. Turtle cheered. I finally found my favorite. Hooray for books. Uh oh. Turtle found a place all to himself. It was very quiet. He read his book once. Then twice, and then three times. Then Turtle heard Elephant say, My book is so funny, Zebra said. This book is so sad. And Al said, Giraffe, you should read this story. Lion added, I bet Turtle would love this one. Turtle came closer. He asked, Who wants to read my favorite book again? It's about friends. While you share your favorites with me. And then everyone cheered. Let's read together. Hooray for story time. The end. Hooray for books and hooray for story time. So today I'd like to read 
two tall houses. There are two, one, two, but in this book they're too tall, T-O-O. -O. Two Tall Houses, written by Gianna Marino and published by Viking. Rabbit and Owl lived in two small houses on top of a hill. Rabbit liked to grow vegetables in the sun and Owl enjoyed the view of the forest. In the evening, they played under the twilight sky. They were good neighbors and good friends. Until one day, uh oh. Rabbit, Owl complained, your garden is growing too tall. I can't see the forest. But what can I do, replied Rabbit. I have to grow my food. So Owl began to build his house taller. Rabbit watched and chittered his teeth. Owl, look what you did. Your house is blocking the sun from reaching my garden. But I have to see the forest, said Owl. So Rabbit built his house taller too and planted some vegetables on the roof. But when Rabbit watered his rooftop plants, uh-oh, it made Owl very angry. So Owl built his house even taller. I want to be the tallest, yelled Rabbit. What, screeched Owl? You're so far below me that I can't hear you. So Rabbit built his house even taller and put a fence around his garden. Who, who, who do you think you are, screeched Owl. And he went to find more twigs for his house. And Rabbit went to fetch more soil for his house. And soon they had the two tallest houses in the world. Owl, I can't carry water up my ladder, cried Rabbit. And I can't see the forest, said Owl. Way up high, the wind roared and bellowed. Whoosh! Creak! And blew the two tall houses into the air. Crack! Whoosh! Hold on, Rabbit! cried Owl. They landed with a plunk. All I have left is a pile of dirt, moaned Rabbit. My house is a bunch of broken twigs, sighed Owl and they had nothing. But together, they had all that they needed to build one small house. Two tall houses. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of a song that we do during story time here at the library. You know, reach your hands up high. See if you can do this. First we wave our hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. First we wave our hands up high, then we clap them. Then we shake our hands down low, hands down low, hands down low. Then we shake our hands down low, then we hide them. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little tap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little snap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, hide behind your back. Now creep them, crawl them to your chinny chin chin, open your mouth, but don't let them in. Watch out for those sneaky fingers, I hope they didn't get in. All right, we'll see you next time. I'm not sure if everybody is aware, but we are um, back open to the public. So we are providing our story times Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Um, Mondays is at, aimed at our babies, so babies on our knees. Uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, we do follow up with the craft for all our toddlers. So please feel free to come in and see us and have an in-person story time with us again. Don't forget, folks, September is National Library Card Sign-Up Month. 
So please, if you do not have one or if your children do not have a library card yet, make sure that they get down here. You know, with access to technology, some of the innovative programs that we have going on, educational resources, a library card is very important to start off this new school year. And we would be, we'd love to be here to support our community. So please, if you don't have one yet, bring on the whole family down and get signed up for a library card. With that, Corduroy goes to the library. So Corduroy goes to the library. Written by Don Freeman, illustrated by Lisa McHugh. Published by Viking Books. Corduroy goes to the library. Today is Corduroy's favorite day of the week because today is the day that he goes to the library. But first he must find the three books he needs to return. Now, where could they be? Hmm, I wonder if they're, uh-oh, there's one. Maybe in the pile? Nope, he struck his bunny slippers. Maybe he has one under the pillow. And in his drawer, maybe? Maybe under his, hmm. It's raining outside, so Corduroy wears his boots raincoat and hat. He listens to the sound of the raindrops on his umbrella. Don't get your books wet, Corduroy. His umbrella. All his friends are reading too. Corduroy returns the books he borrowed. Down the chute they go. The library is a busy place and there are many things to do. Should Corduroy read a book in a cozy chair? Should he look at a magazine or play on the computer? It's almost time for story hour. So Corduroy heads for the children's section. Today the librarian is reading books about farms. After the stories, everyone makes animal masks. Corduroy pretends to be a cow. Moo! Moo! Next week we'll play a game called Who Am I? Says the librarian. Come dress as your favorite character from a book. Everyone will try to guess who you are. Before Corduroy leaves the library, he wants to pick some new books to take home. There are so many to choose from. Finally, Corduroy finds three books he likes. He takes them to the librarian and gives her, her his library card. She stamps the books with the date they are due back. Good choices, Corduroy. Looks he got some of that space and a rainbow and bears. All week long, Corduroy and his friends work on their book character costumes. Who do you think Corduroy will be? Finally, it's library day again. Can you guess who Corduroy is? Robin Hood maybe? Peter Pan? I think that's who he was. The end. Corduroy loves the library. Hi everybody and welcome back to another Mandy Doodle Time. So today we're gonna draw a little teddy bear. Do you guys have a teddy bear at home? Or maybe another favorite stuffed animal? Well we're gonna use some simple shapes and draw us a teddy bear. So first we're gonna draw a circle and that'll be his head or her head. And we'll draw a little circle and another little circle for some ears. And then we'll draw a big shape for the body. That's not quite a circle, is it? That's an oval. And we're going to draw some other ovals, some long skinny ones. Ooh. Do you know what those are on our bear? That's his arms and his legs, huh? All right, well, my bear is a happy bear, so he needs a happy bear face. So he needs some eyes, one, two, and one nose, one little nose, and now he needs a big smile. So I'm going to do a big letter W for a smile. 
And now you have a bear and you can decorate him however you want. Like maybe your bear needs a bow. So you can put a couple triangles there. And make a bow. Or maybe your bear needs some shoes. So you can put some more ovals on him there. And give him some shoes. So why don't you guys try drawing a bear? We would love to see what it looks like. So let us know if you draw a bear. Come show it to us. Bye guys.